this meeting. First of all, tell me, uh, before sharing the screen, of course, we're talking about a special topic. Can you remember, can you tell me the name of the topic we're talking about in this unit? What are we talking about? In this unit, we're studying unit eight. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Okay, let's see the picture and try to guess. We were talking about jobs. In the last session, we were talking about the adjectives you can use to describe your job, whether it's boring or interesting or whatever. We need to learn to be able to describe our jobs if someone asked us about our opinion in our jobs. Uh, we need them to describe our jobs. Last, last time we've stopped here, I think we've heard this conversation. It's a dangerous job. And I told you last time that this time we're going to start to start practicing together and you're going to read in pairs or role play the conversation. And we adwar method to ask and answer the conversation. So first of all, I want you to listen to it one more time. We can practice. You can start reading uh, reading it together. Page 53, exercise seven, conversation. It's a dangerous job. Listen and practice. Hey, Paula, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's difficult, but the students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. Guess what? I'm a firefighter now. Really? Wow. How do you like it? It's a dangerous job, but it's really interesting. I love it. Okay, but please be careful. Okay, of course, we've explained uh, any new expressions in this conversation last time. Sharahna, Taban, Kul expressions, Gedida, Fil conversation, Dilmara Lifetit. So now you can just go on and start practicing. Uh, okay, who wants to read? Who wants to practice? Raise your hands, please. Who wants to read? Anybody wants to read? Okay. 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 Yes, Ayat. Hello? Yes. Yes, hello, Ayat. Welcome. Hello. Uh, do you want to be Jack or Paula? Okay, Paula. Paula, okay. Hey, Paula, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I am teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's difficult, but the students are terrific. How are, the, how are things with you? Not bad. Guess what? I'm a firefighter now. Really? Wow. How do you like it? It's a dangerous job, but it's really interesting. I love it. Okay, but please be careful. Thank you so much, Aya. Thank you. That's really okay. so good. Okay, of course, we have explained any new words or any new expressions. So let's move on to the next exercise, which is a listening exercise. Uh, uh, we are going to listen. The title is, Is Your Job Interesting? Is your job interesting? Listen to four people talk about their jobs. Complete the chart with the correct uh, jobs and adjectives. Uh, you are going to listen. We have four people. This is number one, uh, Yasmin or Yasmin. Uh, what do they do? This means what's her job. 
ايه وظيفتها هي بتشتغل ايه او بتعمل ايه از اي تولد يو قلت لكم لما اسال حد وات دو يو دو سو ذس مينز ام اسكينج اباوت هيز جوب اي ساي واتس يور جوب اور وات دو يو دو اند اف ام اسكينج اباوت انذر بيرسون اي ساي وات داز شي دو وات داز شي دو اور واتس هير جوب ذا سيم مينينج نفس الـ نفس المعنى uh, بالضبط So we are going to listen. We have uh, Yasmin, Kaina, Luke, and uh, Brandon, or whatever the name is. Uh, we need to decide the job. I will have the first column. In the first column, we have to decide what's the job itself. Uh, what's it like? Is it interesting? Is it boring? Is it dangerous? Is it whatever? OK, so here we are going to mention the job. And here we are going to mention the adjective that they used to describe their jobs. Are you ready? Okay, let's listen. I'm going I'm, I'm gonna pause after each person to give you a chance to type your answer. Let's go. Page 53, exercise eight, listening. Is your job interesting? Listen to four people talk about their jobs. Complete the chart with the correct jobs and adjectives. One, where do you work now, Yasmin? I have a new job. I work downtown. What do you do exactly? I'm a street vendor. I sell ice cream. Really? What's it? What's her job? What's her job? Did you know it? What's her job? Okay, she said, I'm a street, a street vendor. And we've studied the, the word vendor before. Uh, the, the, the person who sells things, especially in the street. Uh, so we call him a street vendor, a street vendor. Right. Let's continue to, to know what's it like. What's this? What's this job like? Okay. Like. It's an exciting job. I talk to lots of cool people every day. Okay. So how can we describe this job? She said. She said. What's it like? What's this job like? Hmm, she said what? If you want to hear again, it's okay, no problem. Yes, Aya, thank you so much. It's interesting, and of course we can say it in another word, which is exciting. Yes, very good, thank you. Okay. Exciting means interesting, of course. Let's continue. Two. What do you... I'm sorry. I've... You do, Kana. I work in an office. Really? What do you do exactly? I'm a manager. What's it like? I don't think that's an easy job. No, it isn't. I have a difficult job, but I like it. Okay, first of all, what does she do? What's her job? What's her job? Yes, perfect. She's a manager. Yes, very nice. Thank you so much. She's an, you can say a manager and you can say an office manager, of course. A manager or an office manager. And how did she describe her job? What's of it? What's it? How did she describe it? Yes, very good. Thank you so much, Ella. Thank you. That's really so nice. Uh, her job is difficult. 
Yes. Okay, someone is saying assalamu alaikum. Just a minute, let me answer. هو شكله حد مش سمعنا لأنه مش مفعل الصوت. Okay, let's continue. Uh, let's continue listening. Nisma? Right. Where do you work, Luke? At a store. Oh, are you a salesperson or a cashier? No, actually, I'm a security guard. Really? How do you like it? It's pretty boring. I don't like it very much. Okay, so Four. what's his job? Number three, who is Luke? What's his job? Of course, she said here, Kana said not easy or difficult. What about Luke? What's his job? What's his job? What's his job? Okay, what's his job? If you want to hear again, it's okay. You can tell me. As I have been listening to it, it's totally okay. No problem at all. Mumkin can listen to it again. No problem at all. Yes, yes, that's perfect. He's a security guard. Yes, of course. And how how did he describe his job? How did he describe it? What's up, Habi? Yes, Ayat. Thank you so much. Yes, perfect. His job is boring. Boring. Yes, very nice. Let's continue the fourth person. Let's see the fourth person's job. What do you do, Brandon? I work at the city hospital. The city hospital? Are you a doctor? No, I'm a nurse. What's that like? Is your job interesting? Oh, yes. Every day is different. I really like it. Okay, so what does he do? First of all, what does he do? What does he do? Yes, perfect. His job is a nurse. Thank you, Mr. Sammy. Yes, very nice. He is a nurse. So this means that we can use the word nurse for both women and men. Because it's common that it's used for women. Uh, but it can be used also for men. So he's a nurse, yes. And uh, what's it like? What's it like? What's his job like? Yes, he is a nurse. And how can we describe his job? Or how did he describe, describe his, his job? <clears throat> yes, that's perfect. That's really so nice. He said that it's interesting. Yes, that's really so good. Okay, let's move on to the next exercise. Uh, we can say, I have a great job. And we can say it in another way. My job is great. I have a great job and my job is great. Is there a difference in meaning? What do you think? Yes or no? Is there a difference in meaning? I have a great job or my job is, is great. Is there a difference in meaning? Or they are the same? What do you think? Yes or no? Is there a difference in meaning? Yes or no? Yes, Mr. Sammy, that's so good. Yes, they are the same. The same. They are the same. Because they they are two expressions, two right expressions to say the same thing. هما uh, two forms, تركيبتين مختلفتين ولكن بيدونا نفس المعنى بالضبط. 
إني أقول I have a great job أنا عندي وظيفة عظيمة I have a great job أو إني أقول my job is great both have the same meaning الاثنين بيحملوا نفس المعنى uh, What makes difference here uh, the, the placement of the adjective uh, فين حطيت الصفة هو ده اللي عمل الاختلاف في فورمة الجملة uh, Can you please decide which word is, a, is an adjective in these two sentences? There is an adjective, of course. An adjective is a word that is used to describe a noun. الصفة هي الاسم أو هي الكلمة اللي بستخدمها to describe a noun عشان أوصف بيها اسم. So tell me, what is the adjective in this in these two sentences? إيه الصفة اللي عندنا في الجملتين دول? Yes, perfect. Thank you so much. Great is an adjective. So I can say, I have a great job, or I can say, my job is great, but just the placement of the adjective makes the difference, but they have the same meaning. Okay, we also have another question for both, uh, for the same sentences. I have a great job, my job is great. Which word is a noun? Which, which one is the noun in, this, uh, in these sentences? Yes, perfect. That's perfect. Yes, thank you so much. Job is uh, a noun. So we use the, the adjective great to describe the noun, but we can use both forms. We can use this is called this is grammar focus. Uh, we, the placement of adjectives. اللي هو موضع الصفة في الجملة. We can say be plus adjective verb to be طبعا زي ما احنا عارفين اللي هو uh, am is or are am or am is or are okay I'm sorry I've paused it I think just a minute let me share it again okay so we can use both forms. أقدر أستخدم طريقتين أو تعبيرين. أقدر أقول be plus adjectives. Adjective يعني verb to be اللي هو is أو am أو are زائد الصفة. A doctor's job is stressful. Is stressful. This is verb to be and this is the adjective. وطبعا في الحالة دي I have to use the possessive s. S الملكية اللي تكلمنا عنها قبل كده في محاضرة سابقة كاملة تكلمنا عن a doctor's job is stressful uh, and we can also say a doctor has a stressful job a doctor has a stressful job في الحالة دي بستخدم verb to have اللي هو have يعني يمتلك أو عنده uh, have طبعا تيجي مع I, we, they, you و has تيجي مع he, she and it so we can say a firefighter's job is dangerous and we can say a firefighter has a dangerous job okay so which word is an adjective in these two sentences which word is an adjective would you please type in the chat box yes ayat yes mr sami yes thank you so much stressful of course is the adjective and in the second two sentences Yes, perfect. The, the adjective is the word dangerous. Dangerous is the adjective. Okay, طيب, which word is a noun? The noun that we use the adjective to describe it. طبعاً في عندنا doctor كمان دي uh, اسم عادي جداً. Firefighter is a noun, but we're talking, we're talking specific, specifically about the noun which we use the adjective to describe it. الاسم اللي احنا استخدمنا الصفة عشان نوصفه, which is yes, I, uh, thank you so much. It's the word job. It's the word job, of course. Let's listen to this. Page 54, exercise nine. Grammar focus, placement of adjectives. B plus adjective. A doctor's job is stressful. A firefighter's job is dangerous. Adjective plus noun. A doctor has a stressful job. 
A firefighter has a dangerous job. That's perfect. I want you to read, guys, please. If you want to read, raise your hands. Do you want to read these examples to practice how to say these sentences? Does anyone want to read? Come on, it's time to practice. You need to read to link the words together and to practice linking and to practice speaking. Yes, Ayat, let's go. It's like a private session today, guys. So it's a chance. It's a chance. Yes, Ayat, go on. Hello, Ayat. Okay. A doctor's job is just... Yes, go, yes. On. go on, I can hear you. Okay, a doctor's job is stressful. A doctor has a stressful job. A firefighter's job is dangerous. A firefighter fighter has a dangerous job. Yes, perfect, thank you so much. That's really so nice, Ayat. Perfect, okay, let's move on. Uh, we have a, uh, an exercise here to practice what we've just explained right now. Uh, write each sentence. Write each sentence a different way. Then compare with a partner. يعني كل جملة هو مديها لنا بطريقة معينة من الطريقتين اللي تكلمنا عنهم a moment ago. And he asks you to write it in the other way. Okay. يعني هو مديها لنا بطريقة بيطلب مننا إنه نكتبها بالطريقة الثانية. So the the first one. A photographer job. A photographer's job is interesting, and uh, the other way to say this is a photographer has an interesting job. We need to do the same with the next examples. A pilot's job is exciting. How can we say this in another way? Take your time and type your answers in the on the chat box. A pilot's job is exciting. I'm waiting. Take your time. Write the full sentence. And the most important thing in this exercise for the sentence is to be grammatically correct. أهم حاجة في الاكسرسايز ده إنه الجملة تكون grammatically correct. Yes, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ayat. A pilot has an exciting job. That's perfect. Of course, and you used, you used the article correctly, and this is really important because the, the adjective is exciting. And here, in this case, we are going to use the article an because the word, the word starts with a vowel sound. Thank you so much. That's really perfect. A pilot has an exciting job. The next or the third one, a teacher's job is stressful. How can we say this in another way? How can we say this in another way? Yes, a teacher has a stressful job. Yes, perfect. Thank you so much. Of course, yes, a teacher has a stressful job. Yes, of course. The next one, a cashier has a boring job. How can we say this in another way? Let's see. A cashier has a boring job. Yes, perfect. Thank you so much. A cashier's job is boring. In this case, we are not going to say a boring because we didn't mention the noun. This is one of the most common mistakes in writing. The word min 
اكتر الاخطاء اللي ممكن تتكرر معانا في الرايتنج في الكتابه انه when I use just the adjective لما بستخدم بس الصفه so I don't use an article I say a cashier's job is boring but when I talk about the noun لما بقول الاسم او بذكر الاسم اسم الوظيفه اللي انا بتكلم عنها بعد الصفه فبقول a boring job بس إذا استخدمت بس الصفة في الصيغة دي اللي هي الصيغة بتاعت verb to be plus the adjective I don't use articles okay so we say a cashier's job is boring without a, without an article yes very nice the next one an accountant has a difficult job an accountant has a difficult job An accountant has a difficult job. Yes, perfect. An accountant's job is difficult. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. The next one, a receptionist has an easy job. A receptionist has an easy job. How can we say this in another way? A receptionist has an easy job. I'm waiting, take your time. Take your time to type. Yes, perfect. You got it, you got it. خلاص لقطيها على طول ما شاء الله عليك. Uh, yes, perfect. A receptionist job is easy. Yes, of course. A receptionist, a receptionist's job is easy. That's really perfect. Okay, let's move on. Write one job for each adjective. Uh, uh, we have some adjectives here uh, that, of course, describe jobs, and we need to write uh, or to type a, a job that matches with this adjective, of course, in your opinion, يعني, from your point of view. Uh, for example, uh, the first example is done for you. He said that um, an actor has an easy job. An actor has an easy job. Do you agree with this or no? Do you agree? Do you agree that an actor has an easy job? An actor's job is very easy. Do you guys agree that an actor has an easy job? Some people may say yes and some people may say no. Some people may think, yeah, I think, I think so. I think so. I think it's, uh, it's not an easy job. I think it's a difficult job. Sometimes they have problems in their lives and they have to act that they are very happy, right? Yes, I agree with you, Ayat. The next one is difficult. In your opinion, which, which job is difficult? Which job is difficult in your opinion? Which job is difficult in your opinion? طبعا لو سالتوني هقول لكم تيتشر <تصفيق> فبلاش تسالوني يعني طبعا هقول لكم تيتشرز يعني تيتشرز هاف ديفيكولت جوبز بس اي سوير موست اوف ذيم لايك ذير جوبز الاغلبيه العظمى بيحبوها يعني رغم ان هي ديفيكولت اند اي دو تو اي لاف ماي جوب Uh, a police officer. Yes, maybe a police officer has a very difficult job. Yes, dangerous. What about dangerous? Who has a dangerous job? I'm going to write police officer until you finish. Police officer. Okay, I'm waiting.
who has a dangerous job. Truck drivers, okay. Truck drivers has a very have a very dangerous job. Yes, I agree with you. Or firefighters too. Firefighters have a very dangerous job. Okay, a boring job. A boring. A boring job. What do you think? وظيفه ممله كده تحسوا فيها بالملل يعني truck drivers yeah this is for dangerous of course accountant okay accountant yes they have to deal with numbers a lot to look at screens a lot yes i agree with you exciting Exciting. This may be our dream jobs. Uh, I feel that it's an exciting job. So it's my dream job. Exciting. Yes, yes, professors in university. Okay, that's good. What about relaxing? Relaxing. Relaxing. maybe bloggers yoga instructor wow that's amazing yes 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 i do agree with you yes this is amazing yes of course they have a relaxing job yes of course and you feel relaxed when you attend such a class yoga is very perfect for relaxation i agree with you thank you so much thank you you have a great culture that's really amazing okay so here we have a speaking exercise, work day routines. We have two columns, Andina Amudin. The first ask about a classmate. The second ask about a classmate's friend uh, or family member. Uh, yani we are going to work in pairs. Uh, so for example, I'll ask, do you have a job? And um, you answer, uh, yes, I have a job. Uh, so I say, uh, where do you work? Yes, I have a job. The left column. If you said, no, I don't have a job. So I'm going to, to choose a question from the right column. Okay, tell me about your um, father's job. Tell me about your brother's job. Tell me about your friend's job or whatever. Okay? Who's ready to practice? Are you ready, Ayat? Let's practice together. Hello? Okay. Yes, Ayat. Yes. Do you want to ask or to answer? Not a problem. Okay, I'm going to ask you. Do you have a job okay. yet? No, I don't. Uh, okay, uh, does your father has have a job? Or your friend? Hello? Yes, Ayat. Does your friend has a job? Tell me about your friend's job. أي حد, okay. أي حد من أصدقائك tell me about her job uh, she is a teacher she is a teacher okay where does she work 
She works in a school. Okay. What does she do exactly? What, what subject does she teach? Okay. She teaches um, math in math. Uh, a school. Okay. She teaches math in a school. Uh, is her job difficult? Yes, it is. What time does she start work? She starts at 8 a.m. Yes, perfect. She starts work at 8 a.m. Okay, when does she finish work? She finished his, uh, her work at 3 p.m. Okay, uh, does she like her job? Yes, she does. What does she do after work? She just returns to her her home. Yeah, she goes back to her home. Yes. Yeah, thank you so much. That's really perfect, Ella. Do, uh, Ayan, yeah. sorry. Do you want to ask me? Okay. Go on. Do you have a job? Yes, I work as a teacher. Okay, where do you work? Uh, I work in a school. What do you do exactly? I teach English. Okay. Is your job interesting? Yes, it's really very interesting. I like it. Okay. What time do you start work? I start at half past 7 a.m. When do you finish work? I finish mm -hmm. at 1 p.m. Okay. Do you like your job? Yes, I do like my job a lot. What do you do after work? I go back home and I cook food for my kids. After that, I study with my kids and so on. Yes, okay. thank you so much. Thank That's you. perfect. Thank you, Ayat. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Let's move on to the next exercise, which I think is going to be the last one. Okay. It's a reading exercise. Uh, it's a reading exercise. It's about dream jobs. What is a dream job? What is a dream job? A dream job, of course, is um, just a minute. A dream job is someone's idea of a perfect job. It may be. It may seem difficult or impossible to achieve. Was if it ahlamna. Uh, فكرتنا عن ال perfect job أو الوظيفة المثالية اللي ممكن تبدو بالنسبة لنا إن هي it's difficult صعب تحقيقها أو مستحيل تحقيقها يعني okay but there is not there is nothing impossible إن شاء الله يعني فيش حاجة مستحيلة إن شاء الله so let's see it's a reading exercise what is your dream job what is your dream job can you type type on the chat box please what is your dream job What is your dream job? <clears throat> Have you ever dreamt of a job? Okay, to become a professor in a university. Yes, that's perfect. <laughs> but please be a kind one. <laughs> be a kind one, please. <laughs> Okay, I do remember one of my doctors at the university. Uh, I will have a lot of Can feed doctor and then a fill gamma kida can be at a bab in the way they eat naya. In the way, you tlamas and I was bura ulina and a doctor fulani fulani. Raiz cosme loga linglizia figama at the Misharif a. Anna saw it ula gamma. And to Tamilu Iba and to Yanet. لو بيعقدنا بعيشتنا يعني اللي هو ذاكروا واعملوا اللي عليكم برضه مش هتطوا له اي حاجه ولا هتعرفوا تروحوا ولا تيجوا يعني الزمن ده مش زمانكم يعني فبليز دونت بي لايك هيم وان يو بيكم ا بروفيسور وان داي اوكي سو ان شاء الله يو كان دو وات ايفر يو وونت تو دو ليتس كونتينيو نكمل هير وي جو 
uh, now you should start reading the article. Don't stop to look up new words. Continue reading, and we're going to discuss them later. Hena fi marhalat al qara'a. We are going to read, of course, but don't stop. مش هنوقف على كل كلمة to look it to look it up. عشان نعرف معناها. No, we need to know uh, or to uh, we need to know the general idea. عايزين نعرف الفكرة العامة تتكلم عن إيه. And to guess the meanings through uh, context, نحاول نخمن المعنى أو معاني الكلمات الجديدة اللي موجودة عندنا في النص. And after we finish reading, I'm going to discuss any new words with you. Uh, is it clear or shall I share the book instead? I think the book is going to be clearer. Okay. Is it clearer right like this? أوضح إن إحنا نقرأ من هنا. We have two pictures and we're talking about two different jobs. The first one is crocodile researcher and the second one is ice cream flavor expert. Could you please start reading? silently And then we're gonna discuss any new vocabulary together. I'm going to mute for uh, one minute to give you a chance to concentrate. Tell me when you finish, please. Just raise your hand. Okay, that's really good. Okay, do you have any new words? Any new words? Do you have any new words? Toad, okay, that's good. Any other words? I'm gonna explain them all. Okay. Any other words? Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna share the PowerPoint again. And let's see these words as fast as we can, because he said, you know it. So we have the word crocodile, crocodile, crocodile. Uh, of course, this is a large reptile with a long mouth and sharp teeth that lives in lakes and rivers. This is the transcription of the word 
crocodile crocodile the stress is on the first syllable the stress or the quote فيها بتكون على المقطع الاول and this is how native speakers say crocodile 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 okay the next word uh, the picture is wrong i'm sorry الصوره نسيت اغيرها researcher 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 يعني باحث او الشخص اللي someone who studies a subject to find out new information about it researcher researcher the stress is on the second syllable هي طبعا three syllables ثلاث مقاطع the stress is on the second one researcher researcher the next one is your word which is toad toad it's like a frog but toad there is toad. one difference between a toad and a frog uh, a small brown animal similar to a frog that has big eyes and long back legs for swimming and jumping لما بحثت عن الفرق بين toad and frog uh, لقيت ان هما تقريبا نفس الشيء but toads uh, have السكن بتاعتهم شويه هارد اكتر من الفروجز يعني الفروجز شويه السكن او الجلد بتاعهم ناعم اما التودز جلدهم اكثر خشونه شويه من من الفروجز and they don't live in water a lot like frogs يعني شويه بيقضوا وقت اقل في الميه اقل من التفاضع اللي هي فروجز uh, here it is toads have drier skins than frogs and spend less time in the water. This is how to pronounce it. Toad, toad, toad. Oh, oh, the sound in the middle is oh. Toad. Toad, like this. The next one is flavor, 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 flavor. The taste of, th of something such as sweet, salty, chocolate, etc. Flavor. Flavor. This is how they say it. Let's listen. Flavor. 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 Okay. Expert. Someone who is an expert. So we say someone who has a lot of skill. Someone who has a lot of skill or knowledge about something. To taste something, uh, to experience the flavor of a food in your mouth. Let's do this together and it's going to be the last one. Read the article, check uh, true or false. We use the chat box to write T or F. If the sentence is uh, true, you, sh you're, you should type T. If the sentence is false, you should type F. Both people have jobs they do outside. Is that true or false? Both people have jobs they do outside. T or F? Yes. Uh, is it true? Somewhere, someone works in um, outside. He takes his camera, camera and starts taking photos for the crocodile and so on. And the other one works in a factory uh, that makes ice cream, right? Tani بيشتغل في مصنع لصناعة الايس كريم and he uh, tastes ice cream. وظيفته إنه هو to taste ice cream, إنه يتذوق الايس كريم to check whether it's good or not. Yes, so it's false. Someone works outside and the other one doesn't work outside. Okay, number two. The crocodile researcher studies what crocodiles eat. True or false? True or false? هل هو بيبحث هم بيأكلوا إيه ولا no? The crocodile researcher. Yes, of course he does. He studies what crocodiles eat. The crocodile researcher watches the crocodiles at night. Is that true or false? Does he watch the crocodiles, the crocodiles at night? True or false? Of course, this is false. He watches them in the morning. 
Yes, of course. The ice cream flavor expert tastes each flavor three times. Is that true or false? I think this is true. He said, I taste them three times a day. Ice cream number five. Ice cream flavor experts don't look at the ice cream. Of course, he said this is false because he uses his eyes to look at the ice cream. Okay, before we end, he, I just want someone to read, even if just um, a passage. Crocodile uh, researcher who wants to read. Yes, Ayat, go on. Okay, crocodile researcher. I have a great job. I study uh, crocodiles. It's an important job. Let me explain why. Here in Australia, we have a lot of, uh, of crocodiles, but sometimes the crocodiles are sick. I want to know why. I study the food the crocodiles eat. I also learn how fast they grow and where they live. How do I do this? Well, in the morning, I take my camera and I watch the crocodiles in the river. I take photos. Sometimes the crocodiles eat toads. Some toads make them sick and they die. I want to help the crocodiles. Okay, go on. Continue, Ayat. You read so fast, mashallah. Continue. Okay. Ice cream, ice cream flavor expert. Believe it or not, I taste ice cream for my job. Yes, it's a dream job, but it's also difficult. I work at a big ice cream company. Every day I taste lots of different flavors three times each. Why is, the, is that? Well, I taste a little of the ice cream we make in the morning, afternoon and at the night. That way I know that all the ice cream is good. I use my eyes First, does the ice cream look nice? Then I taste the ice cream with a spoon. Does it taste fresh and sweet? Then I spit it out. Yes, I really spit it out. Okay. Do you know the meaning of spit it out? Do you know the meaning of spit it out? Can you guess? Can you guess the meaning of spit it out? This means that he doesn't swallow it. He doesn't eat it. He doesn't let it uh, go into his stomach. He just tastes it and he spit it out, Yani. Um, I'm sorry, but he doesn't swallow it. So this is an expression. For example, if your kid have, uh, has just eaten something um, uh, from the floor, is a طفل مثلا عندنا أخذ حاجة من على الأرض and he puts it in his mouth. You can just say uh, quickly spit it out. I'm gonna give you another one, but you have to spit it out. Spit it out. يعني يبصقها أو يطلعها أو not to swallow it. إنه ما يبلعهاش يعني. Okay, that's really so good. Thank you so much. Thank you Ayat. Thank you uh, all for today. Uh, you are on time. And um, I didn't want to uh, 